Today we're going to show you how easy it is to add a Foxy product to your Webflow website. We're going to start in the Foxy administration, clicking on the sample code link under the store column in the navigation. Here we're going to copy the snippet from step one. This is the loader.js file. This loads the side cart in your website and stores customer sessions. So now that we've copied the snippet, let's head over to Webflow's site administration. For this demo, I've created a basic website using one of Webflow's free templates. Let's start by clicking on custom code. On this page, you can add custom styling in JavaScript. But for this example, we're just gonna go down to the footer code section and paste the snippet we just copied. Once you've saved your settings, scroll to the top of the page and click on the designer button. The designer is where you can manage your pages, add content, and customize elements. For this demo, I've gone in and customized some of the text, so it's a little bit more related to the product we're trying to sell. Let's link our button element to our Foxy product. Simply click on the button and then click on the link settings icon and this will display the link settings panel. Here you can specify where you're linking the element to. Let's head back to the Foxy administration to copy a sample link we can use in our Webflow website. In step two, you're gonna see a link example. Let's copy everything between the quotes for the href. Now this is just an example product link. You may already have your link ready to go, and so of course you can use that. So let's head back to the Webflow designer. Now we're gonna paste the link that we just copied into the URL field for the link settings. So let's publish our changes and see what it looks like. As you can see, once your customers click on the button, the side cart will come in showing the contents of their cart. They can then click on proceed to checkout to be taken to the secure checkout page. 